Well, welcome back to Nice. And uh, here we are in Place Messina, which is like a plaza, if you like, a public space. And the buildings are painted in, uh, all coordinated with this red ochre colour. Some are a little bit faded, some have had a recent paint job. And along with the statues we have uh, to the left off camera, there are uh, fountains and uh, gardens. And uh, this vehicle is a great way to get around if your legs aren't up to a lot of the walking. Although Nice is very flat, it's a very pleasant place to walk. But uh, not everybody has good knees and legs. But here we are, and what we're really here to talk about is Patunk, which is a game with the metal balls and a synthetic or wooden jack, or we'll call it the jack, the small ball, the Patunk show. And the women have, the ladies, have a space, you can see the parasailing in the background, the ladies have an allocated space on the promenade, which is normally free to run, that's where I do my morning run or go for a swim in the med. And here's one of our cutest spectators. I just had to have a closer look as she looks so relaxed in her chair watching her mother play. And let's have a close look at the ground on which this is played. It can be played on sand. The gravel allows a little bit more mobility, the ball can roll more although it's quite rough and you can see the close-up of the jack here. They're measuring the distance at the end of a game from the jack as to which team has the most balls closest and therefore the score. Here's a shot that may be intentional and very good if it is. She's managed to dislodge the jack completely from the game because once it touches the wood at the end, it's out of the game. So that might have been intentional. There are rules on Wikipedia for all of this. This lady is not disturbed by the sound of the horn and does an excellent bowl right up alongside the jack, which is difficult to do. And that's the reason for the horn traffic issue. Here's the sand that rises as the ball comes in, knocking our position ball out of the way, which we'll talk about later. And here's a, a, the only competitor I saw who used, who rubbed a hand in that to, before she actually did her underarm traditional patonk bowl and it's a good one. See the beautiful Mediterranean in the background? There's a uh, offensive shot knocking the opposition balls out of place and a discussion about that could be the very end of the game, that particular one. There are, most of these were, they're all threesomes, which meant that each player has two balls. So in a threesome, two balls each. And what a great shot. And the official magazine, and we're going to watch the men now, playing in the gardens of Nice. The beautiful gardens. Very green. And here's a man who's being instructed by the other two members of his team what to do with his ball and the ball closest to his shoes is an opposition from the other team so his instructions are to knock the ball out and they're telling him how to do that and he's saying well, are you sure that'll work and they're saying yeah and the big fella's saying look you know I'm bigger than you don't argue with me and trust me I know what I'm what I'm saying and uh, and I, I have total confidence in your ability so do it and here he goes he prefers to do it on his haunches and action. Perfect shot. I mean, he really has played that well. I don't know what the final score was. Notice the big fella uses a magnet to pick up his ball. His bending is a little difficult for him. Now we have a close-up look at the balls without the players. To watch the point of uh, the, the the guys who, there are specialists in this within the team. There are those who specialise in pointing, that is placing the ball like that, closest to the jack. There are those who specialise in shooting, as in knocking the opposition ball away from the jack and ideally placing their ball close if they can. So here is a shooter 
knocking the ball out. And their accuracy is phenomenal. There's no editing in this, this is all concurrent shots. So there's a close up pointer shot, very close, nice position. And the next player says, well, no, that's got to go. But this is what can happen. He knocks the opposition ball away, but it's he's the once the ball that he's used has touched the, the wood, the outside plank, it is out of the game. So the opposition ball is close. That ball could be as close, and the instructions to the next bowler is to knock that ball away. So the shooter has to and will successfully do this and also put his ball it's all about trajectory and speed and accuracy put his ball equally close or possibly closer to the jack a lot of skill approximately six meters from the jack six to ten is the, the international rule by the look of it these were about six meters away or 20 feet if you like in uh, if you're not metric and that one's closer sure but what about knocking that one out without knocking the same team ball out so this is a really tricky shot and done perfectly so the person who shot that ball did not knock his own team ball out of the way which is a, a great skill So what will the next player do? Mm, no, not particularly, not a scoring ball. And that one is, good shot. Now here's a man who's going to bowl both his balls consecutively, which is not necessarily the rule. You can do one ball and then the and then hold one in reserve. But he wants to move that opposition ball and he does it reasonably well on his second shot. Now let's look at th throwing or bowling techniques. It seems like a throw, but it's, it's underarm, that's the rule. Looking at it from his left, looking at it uh, from his right, and looking at it now from his left. He prefers to do it down low. This man prefers to lean forward and use the full length of the arm to get the ball as closest to the jack before he releases. Nice easy flick of the wrist. And again, similar. Now we're in the stadium, about a thousand spectators. And some applause, that was a shooter knocking an opposition ball out of the way. There's a pointer who knocks the jack and brings his ball very close. Gets a good applause for that because this is a local, one of these two teams is a local team. Local as in the southeast of France and uh, Provence. Help Maritime. Um, here we go. He's a shooter. He wants to knock that ball further away from the jack. He takes a long wind up and direct hit but not very far he hasn't knocked it very far away so and his ball is completely out of the game this man tries the same knocks a different ball out of the game but this man we'll call him a pointer so he's going to place it place his ball close to the jack can he do it can he what very good. From here even it's easy to see that it's very close to the jack. And he gets a good applause for that. So that game is almost finished. And uh, you can see now that they pick up the ring. They must stand inside that circle. And as we're getting towards the end of the video, which has covered various aspects of Patank, Patonk, I should say, uh, we'll see them 
stepping into position for the next game. And then move on to the end of that game where they've completed the, the set, if you like. Now, just a close-up of the sign which shows there's an international school for Patonk. And uh, it's quite popular in Spain as well. There are 17 million French players, but they don't, I don't know, play regularly in most are amateur. They're all shaking hands at the end, saying, OK, you won or we won, congratulations. Some shake hands, some, some do the peck on the cheek, depending on aftershave, smell of sweat or how well you know the other player. And uh, essentially that's it. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave you with the announcer. Catch you next time. Au parcours de l'équipe des Alpes Marquis qui va donc s'arrêter en huitième de finale. Euro et Tanka.